Hello beautiful people, welcome to another day with me here in my garden. My name is Caitlin and you are in Zone 9B, Central Florida. And um, after three days, we're peeking out in the low 90s, which really high for this time of year in my personal opinion. It wasn't like this last year. Um, we are going to be clearing out the under foliage of all of my kales and all of my winter garden. Um, it was just a small kitchen garden, but even still, the bug activity is super, and I know a lot of people get upset with pests. I actually really enjoy this part of the season of transition because that gives me extra protein for my birds, and it also gives me, um, I would say, purging tasks. You get to really see the, the garden evolve. And you get to see change and that is really exciting for me as a person who really likes to see growth occur um, sometimes faster than it does but today's gonna be a good day I've already harvested radish seeds I didn't get a chance to film it I had a dog on my lap so it was kind of hard to hold a camera balance and everything uh, I tried but didn't work out so I did a boomerang you can see that on my Instagram and I think I posted it to my personal Facebook too so you can check that out and um, give me just a sec. We're going to head over and I'm going to show you the bug damage and show you the feast that we have for the chickens. All right, so as we, as we head over here, I actually have okra growing right beside where our garden is. So the spacing of this is going to be interesting. I also have collards in this little bed. Hmm. We'll see how this, we'll see how this goes. Maybe have to reposition. Thank God I put these little borders on the sides of my bed. I'm gonna pop this in the middle. Okay, cool. So, for those of you who have gardened before and for those of you who haven't, Florida is a very interesting climate to garden in. On a lot of the gardening groups that I'm a part of, people who are from up north would say it's impossible, like near impossible to garden here, or if you've gardened somewhere else and you've been spoiled with like lavish rich soil, and years and years of, of uh, topsoil, what would you call it, accumulation. Yeah, we don't have that here. We have sand and it's up to you to make the best of it and to grow your soil. And that's probably what a lot of people don't like. Like, I think that that's like a novelty for me to come outside and be like, oh, this soil is perfect. I can just plant right into it. Like, no, you. I don't think I could go from that to Florida, but I did. I started gardening when I was in North Carolina as a student. Um, oh man, look at this. I wish, hold on. I'm gonna put down my scissors. I got my granny scissors. These bad boys have been with me through thick and thin, all of these things. They're my industrial ones. All right, so I'm gonna show you down what we're looking at. So we have, this is some dinosaur kill you can see. I don't know if this is zooming, forgive me. But you can see the pest damage, you can see this is hurting for everything. Um, it needs calcium. It needs, oh man, phosphorus. It means, it, this needs everything. Um, you can see on the underleaf here, lots of little critters, which they're doing their job. You know, when plants start running out of what they need, minerals, um, when they're running out of moisture, when they're running out of just basic thing, nitrogen, you know, potassium, when they run out of these things, I'm pretty sure they emit signals that tell pests, like, take me out, I'm ready to go. Because that's when they always show up for me. Um, and this bed has been going strong since last September. No amendments, nothing. Um, it, it's just done phenomenally well. I had carrots, radishes, I had my kales, my collards. Um, lettuces I had in here and this huge borage that took over the entire a whole quarter of where the carrots were once I pulled all those out the borage just like took over which is awesome but it's time to get this bed amended I don't know what we're gonna put here but I know it needs to go and that's all these little pest guys because chickens are always hungry the pigs are always hungry and the more protein I can get to them the better off my mornings are you know what I'm saying so let me see if I can't show you some more pest damage just because this really excites me. Oh yeah, look at this. So you got all those critters and they're like, it's your time. And the plant's like, I'm ready to go, just take me out. So yeah, 
we're gonna get all these little pests over the chickens, give them a nice little lunch. And I wanna show you how they react because it's very interesting. A bunch of my friends don't feed, and I say friends, that's a very loosely used term down here in the South, acquaintances. Um, I will say that other people that I know who have chickens on a much larger scale than I do have told me repeatedly that greens aren't necessary, that they need more carbohydrates to, you know, to get a girthier bird. I am telling you, in my personal experience and without a shadow of a doubt, 99% of animals need chlorophyll. And I would say the other percent are already chlorophyll full, meaning that's what their diet is. Um, but yeah, people, what are you gonna do with them? Oh my gosh, guys, so I got a phone call, so my thing cut off, but I just gotta show you the bottom of this leaf. It is intense. Oh my gosh, look at all those critters. That's exciting. That's called a ch gourmet chicken fiesta right there. That is so much larva. I've never seen that much larva. That is on red Russian kale. So apparently that is delicious and it she is tapped out. Oh no, you don't. I do not like these guys. I do not like them at all. Oh my gosh, I can't squish bugs. Like a lot of my friends are like, oh, you just squish them. I can't do that. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm too empathetic or whatnot. Oh, just get out of here. I do not like those things. Oh my gosh, this is intense. And you know what's funny is the collards have no pests whatsoever and they are right next to the red Russian kale, which tells me that when something is ready to go, like collards grow all summer, I've never had a problem, even through. Like sometimes, one season I had collards that I started in October and they went all the way through to next the next spring. So it was like a year and a half until they bolted. So I know that collards are, are good year round here, but my gosh, this red Russian kale is hurting so bad. These pests are crazy. I'm like super stoked, like this is fun. Okay, so I have a whole five gallon bucket full of red Russian kale. I didn't even get to the, whew, didn't even get to my dinosaur kale and I'm full, so I just decided that I will go ahead and take you, hi pigs, I will go ahead and take you over to the chickens so you can see what a delicacy this is in the bird world. Hi rooster, hi there Mr. Darcy, how are the ladies? He really stresses them out sometimes, so he's on, he's on rooster patrol right now, doing work. Hi ladies. Oh, well, didn't even get it out. Look at you guys. Get out, Darcy. And this is how they will be. There we go. Bugs. Oh, yes. Happy birds. Rooster, don't do that. They're trying to eat. So anyways, for you all, Sorry about the interruption guys, my camera shut off. It was too hot, so um, I guess that's it for today. But I did want to show you what they've done in just a couple of minutes while my phone was cooling down. They've pretty much torn this all to shreds. And um, when they're done picking the bugs off and when they're done eating the... That's a buckeye. In case you guys wanted to know what they sound like, that's that's what they sound like. When she hasn't even laid today. Okay, so real life though. Um, this is what they've done with the greens so far, and when they're done picking through the greens and they leave the hard stems on top, instead of leaving those to break down, I'm gonna throw those in the black soldier fly bin. Still seconding as a nest box, but we're gonna start building it up and they won't have room to get in there anymore. Um, but yeah, so 
will get all the things that they don't consume into they're having a good old time and this one right here she's just like picking off individual bugs and then running off my easter eggers she's like no this bug is mine this bug is mine this leaf is mine how fussy anyways so i would say this was a success i'm happy with the results and as soon as they're done picking off the green edge, I'll take I'll take the um, stems, throw it in the black soldier fly bin like I just said. I think I just said that. I don't know. The heat's starting to get to my head. I need a, you know, I need a refresher. Sweet to anyone? Anyways, so, yeah. That's just one chore of this afternoon. I, got, I have about three more loads to do, but I won't bore you with that. You've already seen all the good stuff and the most bug activity, so I think I've grossed everybody out enough for today. Hey, beautiful people. Thank you so much for sharing some of your time with me today. Sorry I had to cut that video short. I got lightheaded, started seeing stars. Just a little friendly reminder to stay hydrated out there this summer. It's pretty brutal. Thank you so much again for taking time to be with us. If you could please like our video, subscribe to our channel, we would really appreciate any support you could offer. If you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, do it anyways. Just because you can, you know? Why not? Guys, grow free, grow strong. Marco.